Hey, this is Adam with Tech Dive AV Club, and today we're in Movie Studio 17 Platinum, and we're going to talk about two different methods that Movie Studio Platinum gives you to kind of help sharpen an image. Random footage I've got of a mountain, and it's kind of soft looking. It's part of partly the haze, partly the fact that I'm zooming in and focusing on the mountains in the background, and the fence doesn't really look that sharp. However, the fence is very prominent, so let's add some sharpness back to the fence. Now, with this kind of thing, when you're adding sharpening back to something, there are no miracles, but there are ways that you can uh, improve a soft looking image to uh, look less sharp. So, first off, this is a more intuitive way uh, with sharpening. You can search for the sharpening of video effect and then drag and drop the default onto it. Now, the thing you got to look at with the sharpening effect is, is actually if you do it all the way, you might be able to see more sharpness. Let's look at one a frame with less motion blur. You can see more sharpness. Like we can draw more detail out of the fence. Let me make this bigger for you. We can draw more detail out of the fence, but you can see there's also more noise in the image. So let's go ahead and zoom in. You can see that we're also bringing out a lot of the sharpness around the noise as well. So the image starts losing some of its realism when you're adding the sharpness. So you have to be careful of that. So if we return this back to its normal shape and size and go back to sharpening, usually around half or less is all you can get away with with sharpening before you start losing some of the value of the image. We're going to add some level changes. So if you go up here to your search bar and type levels, you'll find your levels and you can grab your default and drag it to your clip. And now what we'll do is actually add contrast. Now contrast is a way that you can make an image feel sharper than it actually is. I'm going to exaggerate it for a second to show you. So first off, if I increase the contrast, you can see here a lot of detail comes back into this fence that was missing. Now the fence has tons of detail and a very sharp, hard edge where it used to have none. But obviously the rest of the image with the overexposed sky, we're missing mountains, we've kind of messed up the image here. So you will be limited on how much you can do, especially if you've already dealing with an overexposure like I am. So if you grab the input in and crunch it down and the input start and you crunch it up, you can find a contrast that works good for your image and you can still see an improvement in the detail. So if we look at it without and with, now we've got a fence that has a lot more details, less distracting, less soft to the eye. With Vegas Pro, there's a third method you can do with a bump map composite. Uh, you cannot do that in movie studios. But that's okay. It's a very rare thing that you'll ever need to do. Thank you so much for watching. This is a simple one, quick one. If you have any tutorial ideas, let me know below. Like this video helped you out. Subscribe if you're looking for more videos like this one. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.